Welcome to xnatutorial.com. I'm trying to make a game using free tools. With free, I mean uh, tools that people don't charge for. I don't care if they are open source or not. And uh, I am trying to make some video tutorials at the same time, which is my way of giving back to the free community. The game is actually not that important. My focus is mostly on the tutorials because uh, I am still learning how to program, uh, learning how to do the art parts, and uh, learning how to do tutorials for that matter. I collect everything I find at uh, xnatutorial.com. The main section is a blog that you can subscribe to, but uh, there are some other pages there too, so you can go and check it out. I really am a beginner. I'm the first time I typed any code in my life it was two months ago, almost exactly. So when I say that I start from scratch, I mean that this is an introduction to programming. If you have ever programmed anything before, this will probably be too basic for you. However, if you've never done anything like me, then you will find this a good resource, as you don't have to redo the mistakes I did. This also, of course, means that uh, this is not reference material. You should use msdn.com a lot to find what uh, is the correct way of doing things. These videos are copyright by Joran Umark, that's me. Uh, however, I will release the videos. That should, of course, say videos. Uh, under a Creative Commons license, which means that um, you can go to their web page and uh, read about this license that I have chosen. Uh, I can sum it up for you. Basically, I'm, I'm picked a license where you can redistribute the video zip files without changes and without charge. Uh, just put my name in there and just redistribute them any way you want. I don't care. Uh, the source code is also copyright by me. There's not much source code yet, but there will be. Uh, this one is under a different Creative Commons license. Uh, this one is a bit um, less restrictive, so if you go and check that out, uh, you will see that uh, you can do anything you want with the source code. You can change it, you can sell it, anything you feel like. Uh, just put my name somewhere in the credits and I'll be happy. Okay, so you want to make a game? That's good. That's a much more fun way to learn things, especially learning programming. You're going to need a computer with a pretty new graphics card from 2003 or newer. The important thing is that the card supports Shader Model 2.0 or newer. In the DirectX Diagnostics program, you can check if, if you have that. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you can dig out the box that the graphics card came in, and you can see if it says DirectX 9.0 support somewhere on the box. In that case, you have Shader Model 2.0. Uh, if you have checked out the series of cards that um, the different companies have released, then you should have a, an NVIDIA GeForce FX card, or newer than that. Uh, that was the first card to support Shader Model 2. Uh, same thing with ATI. Uh, ATI Radeon 9500 series was the first series to support Shader Model 2. You're also going to need some hard disk space. You are going to need to, about one gigabyte to start with. Um, but this is just for the programming part of the project. Later on, when we 
are going to work a bit with sound and music and uh, 3D modeling and drawing, then you're probably going to need at least another gigabyte. So it would be nice if you have about two gigabytes. On the software side, you're going to need a computer with at least Windows XP Service Pack 2. Uh, Vista is fine too. But more importantly, you're going to need an IDE, which is an Integrated Development Environment. I've seen the word interactive instead of integrated sometimes, but uh, Microsoft uses integrated, so we'll stick to that as well. An IDE is a program, an application, which provides a unified user interface for various development tools. These tools include uh, compilers, debuggers, code editors, designers, uh, and a help system, of course. You will use that help system a lot. That is the reference material that these tutorials are not. And then you, of course, have the code editor, where you actually write your code. Uh, the IDE we will be using has a lot of cool features which help you type code faster and find it, what code you should write. Uh, usually you can design in a designer as in visually layouting what, what your program should look like. It's you drag and drop buttons and things on a on a form and then that is what you see is what the customers will see as well. Uh, however, when you program a game, you will not use the designer that much. You will use the compiler a lot, though. The compiler is the, the tool that makes the executable file that you can send to friends. And uh, since we're all beginners, we're going to debug a lot, which means that uh, there is a program that um, helps us find problems in our code. I've been checking several systems out, and uh, the best IDE that I've found is uh, Microsoft Visual Express series, and uh, the one that we are picking from that series is the C Sharp version, and the latest version is 2005. Express means it's free, so you can just go to msdn.com slash express and uh, download it and install it. You will be happy with it. You're also going to need an API, that is an application programming interface. Uh, an application programming interface contains code that other people have already written, which you can access with your code so that you don't need to reinvent a lot of things that somebody has already thought through. Uh, the good thing about this is when big companies like Microsoft releases APIs, then they contain a lot of standard components so that your program looks like all other programs. For example, if you use Microsoft's APIs, you can make a button, you can just drag and drop a button onto a form, and then it looks like all other buttons in Windows. Another good thing about uh, these APIs is that uh, they unify hardware programming. It used to be that uh, you had uh, a million different sound cards, and then you had to write code for a million different sound cards. And now, the sound card manufacturers write code for DirectX and uh, you write code for DirectX and you guys meet he halfway. So you just need to write a single piece of code and you can access any kind of sound card. The two biggest APIs are from Microsoft and uh, they are so big that Microsoft has chosen to call them frameworks because they are actually collections of many many different kinds of APIs. For making Windows programs they have Microsoft.NET framework which uh, comes with Visual C Sharp Express 
so you don't need to download it. Uh, however, there is another framework from Microsoft called the XNA framework, which is for making games. And uh, this one does not come with Visual C Sharp. It comes with uh, Microsoft XNA Game Studio Express. Uh, this is not a standalone program. It is a plugin for Visual C Sharp Express, which means that if you go to msdn.com slash XNA and uh, download it, then uh, you can install it and it adds functions to Visual C Sharp. It adds a lot of help files. It even adds some sample games that you can pick apart to learn more. So you're going to need that one as well. You might have noticed that uh, this list only contains two things to download. Uh, you might have heard that you're going to need the .NET Framework and you have seen that on Microsoft's website or the XNA Framework and you have seen that on uh, on the website or the DirectX Redistributables or DirectX SDK for that matter. Uh, all these files, uh, they are not files that you are going to need. All you need are msdn.com slash express and msdn.com slash xna two downloads and uh, they contain everything you need. The actual installation process uh, must be done in a certain order. The first thing to do is to uninstall any beta versions that you might have installed previously. This is really important. So if you have a beta version of Visual C Sharp or XNA Game Studio Express, then do uninstall them before you download Visual C Sharp Express and uh, Game Studio Express. And uh, when you install Microsoft Visual C Sharp Express, you need to start it first. Just start it up and then close it down. You don't need to do anything inside the program, but this will initialize a lot of things which um, will then be used when you install XNA Game Studio Express. If you don't start and close before you install XNA, then uh, you might not get all the features installed from XNA. You might be missing a few things in the menus. Okay, let's uh, finish this up and uh, we move on to some code.